Straightallday.com. Yeah, I'm just going through a warm up series. Sometimes I like to use, or a lot of times I like to use a jump rope as a warm up, either before I lift weights, before I do a functional training workout. By functional training, I mean doing a workout that's directly related to playing basketball, the type of stuff you see I'm doing when I'm with my trainer Maria and a bunch of my other videos. Or if I'm going to do an outdoor uh, speed, agility, conditioning type workout, which is what I was getting ready for here, which could be anything from uh, parachute sprints, uh, running on the field, doing any kind of sprints, lateral movements, running bleachers, maybe running for a distance like on a beach or running laps around the track for conditioning, things like that. So here, just getting with the jump rope warm up. I posted a video about the jump rope warm up before, probably a year and a half ago. It's a 10 minute video on my full jump rope workout here. I'm just going to start with a basic straight up and down jump. Now I'm into, then I go into a side to side jump, which is what I'm doing right here. Sometimes some people like to find a line or a mark or something and just jump over that line back and forth. I don't do that. I normally just do side to side hops like you see me doing here. Then I'm going to get into a forward and back jump. But that's what I'm doing now. So I'm going forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And I usually go to, you can either go to a certain time or you can go to a certain number of jumps. And since I don't have a clock that's convenient for me to look at when I'm doing it like this, I usually do a certain number of jumps. That could be 50 jumps, could be 100 jumps, it could be 200 jumps. It could be keep going until my arms burn and I can't do another one. It could be keep going until I mess up on a rope, whatever. You find out different ways that work for you. It doesn't have to be the same way every time. It doesn't have to be similar to what somebody else does. Find out what works for you. Then I'm going to go to one foot at a time, so it's kind of like a running in place or jogging in place, skipping, just lifting the feet up. One at a time as I go through this one. And people ask me, what is, what kind of benefits do you get basketball wise from using a jump rope? For me, it helps my bounce. And when I say bounce, I don't necessarily mean how high I jump, but just the bounciness of my body, my lower body. The calves are muscles that work a lot when you're doing jumping rope because you're on your toes and you're just bouncing on the toes, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. But I think people sometimes misconstrue that jumping is not just in the calf muscles. I know we do calf raises and a lot of people say you do a bunch of calf raises, you can jump high. Calf raises will help, but you need your whole legs, you need your hips, you need your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads to jump, and your abs and core. So it's not just in the calves, but this helps with jumping rope, it helps work the calves because you're on your toes the entire time because you want to be quick. It helps with your footwork, it helps move your feet quicker, your agility, your stamina, and if you can do it for an extended period of time, pushing past the fatigue, it helps your conditioning and endurance. Here I'm getting into the single leg. I'll, sometimes I do two jumps at a time, three jumps, five jumps, ten jumps, twenty jumps, whatever. Figure out what works for you, like I said. This is just the warm-up. Getting ready for the workout, this shouldn't take you no more than 10 minutes, even if you're messing up. And I'm getting into it. Now I'm getting into my, going through some dynamic uh, movements and stretching here. I'm going to start with a high knees run. So I'm going to just move forward, maybe 20 steps, maybe 15 steps. Depending on where I'm at, what kind of space that I have, you improvise. So if you only got a small space, maybe you just do this in place. If you got a wide space, maybe you go all the way down to a certain point. And you come back. Just improvise with the space that you have. Work with what you got. That's very important when you're doing training because you're not always going to have a convenient location. You might not always have a gym. You might not always have the perfect amount of space. But whatever you got, if you have the desire to put the work in, work with what you have. That's why I put out a lot of stuff in different locations, different areas, doing stuff different ways so you can see some possibilities for what could work for you. So I started with the high knees. The second thing I did was butt kicks, which is kicking the heel up towards the butt, warming up the hamstrings. This we call karaoke, which is really just loosening up the hips. You see how my hips are swiveling from front to back, even though my chest is facing to the side the whole time. Here I'm doing some lunges, which is going to stretch the hip flexor, which is the muscle right at the top of the thigh. If you're sitting down right now and you just lift your leg, up, up. You put your hand on top of your thigh and you just lift your foot up off the floor. You'll feel that tightening muscle right there. That's the hip flexor. And when you jump, you think about it, when you jump, you're lifting your foot. You thrust your knee straight up. That hip flexor is very important. The stronger and more flexible that hip flexor is, the more you'll be able to jump and get loose when you get up in the air to go for a dunk or a layup or even sprinting. When you run, that hip flexor is doing the same thing. Every time you thrust your knee forward, running, jumping, any type of explosive movement with the legs, 
you're working that hip flexor. So this is loosening up that hip flexor and also waking up the muscles in the lower body, the glutes, the hamstrings as I'm doing each lunge. And me personally, I hate doing lunges, but you know what they say about training. The thing that you hate doing the most is probably the thing that you need to be doing the most. You most need it. So I do these lunges even though I don't like them to get warmed up and also to work those muscles in the lower body that I just mentioned. Next thing, I'm just doing some stretching. So I'm going to take one step, balance on that one foot, lift the other leg backwards, and I'm going to reach down with both hands. So it's just to stretch the hamstring. Very important to, sh to stretch that hamstring because if you get a hamstring injury, that's going to limit your ability to run, it limits your ability to jump, limits your ability to explode. And if, you, if that happens, any sport that involves the legs, this could be hockey, football, baseball, basketball. You think about all those sports, they involve explosive leg movements where you're trying to go as fast as you can. You can't go as fast as you can with an injured hamstring. So make sure you take very special care of the hamstrings. Make sure they are very warm and stretched before you do any type of explosive exercises with your legs. So I'm just taking one step, reaching down, touching. You should feel the stretch in your hamstring. So you want to keep that leg straight. You should feel a stretch in your hamstring with every step coming forward. I'm going to go to a certain point here. This could be, a, I could do a certain number of stretches. I could just do a certain distance depending on where I'm at. I think I just go up to the, where I had the camera placed here. Then I go back. Now I'm doing some leg pulls. So I'm pulling my knee up towards my chest and kind of leaning back a little bit. So this is stretching the back side of the leg, stretching the glute muscles, stretching the upper hamstring muscle getting that loose because like we talk like I talked about before running and jumping every time I run or jump I'm doing this exact movement here I'm not actually grabbing my leg like I'm doing but every time I jump I'm thrusting that knee forward so you got to keep it warm hit that thumbs up if you like this video if you got any questions leave them in the comments check out that ultimate athlete program work on your game